In the last video, I showed how corporate scandals are caused by a set of pressures that lead to widespread ethical blindness in companies. Now, let's talk about how we can solve this problem. The solution goes far beyond the creation of countless rules and controls. Ethics, after all, is not restricted to simply following the law. Therefore, traditional compliance programs should not be seen as a cure for all ills, that is, as something that will solve all problems in the business world. The business world actually needs a structural change, not just an incremental one. We need a new paradigm for good management and corporate governance, a new vision grounded in an ethical culture that awakens the best instead of the worst out of people. This pyramid summarizes this new paradigm very well. The first link that sustains it is the ethical culture, which represents the formal and informal value systems promoted by the company to stimulate ethical decisions. The formal system is represented by the organization's documents and procedures. The informal system, in turn, is represented by the implicit signals on the expected behavior of employees on a daily basis. They are the unwritten rules of the game, the social norms to survive and succeed in the company. It is critical that these two systems are always aligned, since it is this alignment that determines the quality of the company's ethical culture and therefore prevents unethical behavior in any organization. Let's go back to the pyramid. Please note that the implementation of an ethical culture depends on virtuous leadership. Leaders are the main responsible for the behaviors that proliferate in organizations. There are two classic profiles, the military leader and the mercenary leader. The military leader is that almighty individual in his or her division or company who does not accept being opposed. The mercenary leader, in turn, has no emotional involvement with the organization and is focused on reaching short-term numbers in order to maximize his or her career prospects. Consequently, he or she tends to generate huge long-term liabilities for the company. These needs to change. It is essential that companies have missionary leaders, that is, mature people that pursue a larger mission and leave a positive legacy for all stakeholders. Individuals with intelligence not only analytical, but mostly emotional, moral and systemic. I'm talking about leaders motivated by the willingness to serve, not to be served. Leaders who are able to display empathy, humanity, cooperation, intuition and appreciation of relationships. Elements traditionally associated with women. The third link at the bottom of the pyramid is diversity and inclusion. Intellectual, cultural, educational, age, race and gender diversity. This broader range of people leads to different worldviews in organizations and, consequently, to better decisions. Finally, there is the critical issue of organizational purpose, which is a clear and concise statement about the difference the company tries to make in its country or in the world. Pursuing a genuine purpose on a daily basis is a tremendous source of energy, motivation, loyalty and cohesion among employees, executives and other stakeholders. A clear and compelling purpose is also a guide for better, more aligned and faster decisions. An important note, all the concepts in this pyramid are measurable and must be continually evaluated by top management, that is, by senior managers and boards of directors. This new vision for good management and governance will make all stakeholders of the organization including its customers, to feel part of a noble cause aligned with the common good. Investing in these elements will lead companies to become more resilient, more ethical, more innovative and with better performance 
in all dimensions.